Hey guys, this is Maliha, and I'm going to show you how to use WriteSonic AI writing tool. So the first thing you have to do is open an account, go to writesonic.com, and create an account by signing up. Or you can click here, start writing for free. It gives you 10 free credits. And after you have used up all free credits, you have to uh, sign up for a subscription plan or buy additional credits. So if you go to pricing, you can see that, you know, you have different options. Personally, I'm on this plan, the 45 per month plan, because it has unlimited credits, all the features, and it's for one user. Uh, if you have more people in your team, you're going to have to sign up for a higher plan. But yeah. Anyway, so once you sign up for uh, WriteSonic, uh, when you log in, you come to this page. It's the dashboard. And as you can see, there are plenty of different types of content that you can create with WriteSonic. It's pretty intuitive, pretty simple to understand. That's one of the reason I signed up for WriteSonic over some of the other AI writing tools because I loved its user interface and the user experience is just amazing. So anyway, I kind of want to go over a couple of different things that you can write with WriteSonic. Uh, to start off, let's write, uh, let's try the long form article, uh, long form writing assistant GPT-3. So this is like an actual editor. So basically you can, you know, you can write here, you can personally type things, blah, 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 etc. Um, you can, you have like the editing tools like bold, italic, underscore, headlines, linking, list options, etc. So it's basically like any other writing editor. Only you have the option to use the um, AI writing tool as your assistant. So the long form writing assistant is uh, something that kind of works with you. So you have to give it a prompt uh, for it to understand what you're writing about and what kind of tone you're using, your voice, etc. As you can see over here, it says, if you follow my cursor, write minimum 50 plus words to train the AI. So you have to write at least 50 words to kind of um, you know, help it understand where you are going with it. So I have something I wrote already, so I'm going to just copy and paste it. As you can see, I have more than 50 words here, so I can now click Write with AI. And now it's automatically writing things. So my write, uh, article is about eating habits that can help you, you know, have a better lifestyle and over time it can help you lose weight as well. So that was my intro and now it's telling me one of the easiest habits to start is eating a healthy breakfast. So it kind of gathered from my introduction where I was talking about simple eating habits that I want simple things and I want my article to focus around uh, simple eating habits that can, you know, have lasting beneficial effects in our lives. So as you can see, it's writing. So this is where it started. The AI write, writing tool started writing. One of the easiest habits to start is eating a healthy breakfast. Uh, it's been said that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, blah, blah, blah. So now let's assume that I wanted to be under a header. Eat healthy breakfast and I'm going to make it a headline and then as you can see it generated a certain amount of text and then it stopped that's because it can only generate so many words at a time and you can kind of control that over here if you want more words you can kind of um, add it and in my plan I can only have uh, 160 words Per generation. If you're on a higher plan, you should be able to generate more words, but I'm happy with 160 words per generation. But you know, you can just continue write with AI as many, you can hit that as many times as you want. So I personally don't feel the need to use something more. And you can also kind of control the creativity level. And this is something that you should, you know, play, play around with by yourself and see what, which one you like better. So you can have really creative 
point A, point C. So, you know, you kind of have to uh, try different things and see which one you like. So I'm going to stay with point A, and then I'm going to hit right with AI again. And then it's generating more content. Yeah, so now the second one is, you know, eat healthier lunches. That's great. But, you know, if I don't like that, if I don't want to add eat healthier lunches, I can just delete all of that and hit write with AI again and see what it comes up with. And it's just coming up with more stuff. And it kind of, you know, like I said, it, this is, you have to kind of, you know, get a taste for how this tool works. You have to play around with it. Uh, now it gave me another point. It says breathe deeply, but my article, uh, my article isn't really about breathing deeply. It's about eating habits. So I'm going to delete that and I can kind of see that the AI tool is kind of, you know, kind of lost track of things. So I'm going to steer it back to, you know, the original um, idea, which is healthy eating habits. So I'm going to write something by myself. I'm going to say something like eat more protein and I'm going to make it a headline and then I'm going to hit write with AI again Ooh. It, it retained the style so now everything is writing in headlines hmm so you know there are like little glitches like this that you can kind of once you start working with it you kind of understand and you can play with it um, so yeah, this is how you, you know, use the long form writing tool. So the long form writing assistant is something that's like collaborative process. Like, um, you give it a prompt, it writes something. And then if it starts going off track or going off on a tangent, you kind of bring it back by deleting some of the content and rewriting some of the content. And I personally like this tool a lot because, you know, it feels like a real collaboration. I, I don't feel like you know, uh, the machine is fully in control. It's like the two of us are kind of working together to create something that's, um, you know, really creative and really nice and really informative, okay? So this is how you use the long form writing assistant. So now I'm gonna go back and I wanna show you a couple other things. Uh, for example, the AI article writer 2.0 is best for when you have no idea where you're going with it. All you have is a topic. So let's say that you're working with a client and your client wants you to write um, an article on uh, benefits of glycerin. So you give it this topic and then create generate ideas. And then it generates some titles for you. If you like them, great. If not, you can click it again to generate separate sets of ideas. Uh, let's say that I don't like any of these options. So I'm going to click that again, and it's going to give me some new titles. So let's say that I want this one, the top five benefits of glycerin as a skincare ingredient. So let's say that that's the one that I want to go with, and I can hit next step right here and then generate intros and then write sonic is gonna write some intros for me it takes a couple of seconds because you know it's writing a lot so it takes a little time but you know it still doesn't take as long as we would take um so that's why i love it because it it, it speeds up the process so much so anyway uh now you have different you know intro ideas and let's say that I want this one. Glycerin is a popular ingredient for many skin and hair care products, blah, blah, blah. I'm not reading them because I want to keep this video short. But for you, obviously, read them and see which one you like best. Choose the one you like. If you don't like anything, you can always hit generate intros again. And then once you like something, click the next step button. And in this stage, you're going to create some outlines. Again, takes a few seconds. And let's say that you don't like any of these, or maybe you do like something. Glycerin is a skin conditioner agent. Glycerin attracts moisture. Actually, I do like it. So I'm going to click on it and then click next step. And then here, this is kind of cool because you can, you know, um, edit 
things in this process, uh, in this uh, stage of the process. For example, you can delete one of the headlines or you can um, edit something here. You know, let's say that you want to add another header and let's say that you want to add something like glycerin helps with dry skin condition. Um, and then I want the conclusion to be the last one. So I'm going to delete that and add it again at the end. And then I'm going to create, write an article. And then it's going to write the entire article for you. Um, and if you don't like the first version, you can always hit write an article again to create another article. And then over here, you have the first draft. And I say the first draft because that's how you have to treat it. Never treat an AI generated article as your final article because that's not it. It's a great tool to, you know, speed up the process, but it's not a human being. So no matter how good it is, there is no way that it's going to create the perfect article on its first try. So it's up to you to craft the final version. So treat the first version, the version that it's giving you as a first draft or a skeleton, more like it. And then it's up to you to kind of, you know, edit things out, edit things in, customize some of the things, you know, flesh it out a bit, and then create the final draft that, 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 that you know, that feels like an actual person wrote it, okay? So never treat this as your final draft, but more like a first draft. But even then, see, within just a few minutes, I was able to create an entire skeleton of, a, of an article. Now, if you were doing it by yourself, this process probably would have taken you at least a couple of hours, right? Um, at, I know that it would have taken me at least a few hours to come up with like uh, the first draft of an article. So an AI writing tool significantly cuts down on your uh, on the process on, the, on your writing process it just speeds up the process so much that's why that's one of the reasons why I like it so much anyway so this is another way of writing an article with write sonic and then there are other things like landing pages email subject lines for example let's see uh, email subject line I already created something so I'm gonna get rid of it um, all right email subject line. So let's say that I want, I have a blog post that I want to, you know, share with my news, uh, with my email subscribers with a newsletter. And my blog post topic is search engine optimization. And then you have to give it like some kind of description for it to know what it is. So, um, how to attract, um, your ideal audience with SEO and then how to get more traffic with SEO. Uh, see, this is not, this doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just letting the AI tool know what my, con my content is about. So um, how to rank higher on Google with SEO, etc. And then I'm going to hit generate uh, subject lines. And it gives me a bunch of subject lines. How to rank higher on Google. Is your website on fire? Read this. Hmm, no idea what that is. SEO for all. Secret formula to get more exposure on the internet. How to rank higher on Google with SEO. I don't like any of them. So I'm going to regenerate subject lines. And... Search engine optimization for dummies. That's good. Get higher on Google with the best SEO or search engine optimization training. What you'll learn and what get your audience to find you with SEO. Hmm. I like that one. Number one way to increase online visibility. I really like that one. So you see, sometimes you have to like do it a few times, like generate content a few times to get the one that you really want so don't be satisfied with just one iteration okay so this is one of the ways to generate subject lines with right sonic and the final thing that i wanted to show you is the landing pages um this is pretty awesome 
Uh, okay. So, to create a landing page text, you have to first give it a name. Let's say that my uh, product is a free guide to SEO. Product description, how to use this free guide to optimize your website for more traffic, how to use SEO guidelines to rank higher on Google. And then let's say that you have a feature. The first feature is rank higher on Google. Second feature is get more organic traffic. Third feature is, um, let's say, drive your ideal audience to your website and then generate landing page. Okay, so you have to have a minimum of five words for each benefit or feature. Let's say how to rank higher on Google, how to get more organic traffic. Another error, please make sure that your product service description starts with your product service name. So, okay, so it wants me to add this in my description. A free guide to SEO, how to use this free guide, blah, 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 generate landing page. And it's taking a few seconds to create your landing page and boom, here's your landing page. Again, go over, you know, the copy that it generated for you. And then if you don't like it, you can always regenerate. Um, and if you do like it, you can save the code or you can save it, save it as a text version. The code is useful if you want to like, you know, create a, a landing page from scratch, but ideally, you know, for most of us, we probably have a website already, so we don't need the code, but we need the text, just these text. So when you save the text, it saves it in a simple uh, text document, and then you can use that text to, you know, write your uh, landing page. So anyway, so these are just some of the features of Write Sonic that I wanted you to know about. And you can always, you know, play around with all the other different types of content and copy that you can write with Write Sonic and see which ones you like best. All right, that's it. Uh, hope you learned something and hope you enjoy using Write Sonic. Bye.